Victory Road! Everybody has a story to tell, to tell How you got to heaven When you came from hell Victory Road! Where miracles unfold On Victory Road Won't you come with me to Victory Down Victory Road? Hi, and welcome to another fabulous episode of Victory Road. And I'd like to always open with a prayer and a verse. First of all, Isaiah 35, verse 8 through 10. It talks about a highway. And it says that it is a roadway that only the holy can travel on. And those who are not holy can't travel on it. You can look the verses up for yourself. And there's so many verses regarding Victory Road. This show has been designed by God, through God, to help point you to the right direction, to get you back on track on your Victory Road. So if you're a little off track, if you're feeling a little lost in life, this message today with my special guests are going to help put you right back where you need to be with your family on your Victory Road. And the special guest I have, um, this couple, they are amazing warriors for the Lord. They are world-known uh, evangelists, published authors, and uh, great family people. And also she has conferences and holds conferences, and he teaches. They both teach all over the world, the two of them together. They are a force to be reckoned with. They are amazing. And I want you to help me welcome Mr. Keith Hudson and Miss Mary Hudson. Awesome. Welcome. I am so honored and glad that to have you two here with me because you mean so much, not just to me, but to the whole world. And your message and your victory stories are like beacons across the world. People listen to you. I notice when you're teaching, people pay attention. Mm. And um, I'm just so grateful for your testimony. I just want to add P.S. They also are the parents of Angela, Katie, better known as Katie Perry, the pop singer, and David, and they have a beautiful granddaughter, right? That's right. A granddaughter, and not to mention there's a little Louie underneath the table. He's our real special guest here. I don't know if you can get that shot. Zuhar, Louis? yeah. Louie's asleep. He's asleep. He's there just he had is. a very long day already. <laughs> but they take Louie with them everywhere they go on all the sets, and so we're having... Louie is our first little pet on this yes, set. Yes, and Louie has his own Facebook page. Oh, he does. Yes, yeah. he does. Katie, uh, after the Super Bowl, dressed him up in a um, shark outfit and, <laughs> and uh, tweeted him. What's that? Or space, Facebook? And he got uh, 52 million likes. <gasps> Louie did? Yeah. I'm jealous. All right, Louie. You come up here and say hi. You want to come up? Okay. Let everybody, let the whole world see Louie. Is there he a he doll? <laughs> and what, what is he? He is a peek-a-poo. Peek-a-poo. Peek poodle. Yes, uh, Pekingese uh, used to sit by the throne of the emperors and oh, guard the Chinese emperors. Oh my now, goodness. you know, I love what you're doing, Lee. It's awesome Thank because you. you are saved by the word of uh, the blood of the lamb and the word of your testimony. Right, yeah. Keith? Yep. Yes. It's great word. Great word. Yes. And you know what? I'm going to show your clip in a few moments. But before we show their video clip, I just want to um, get a little bit into your history. So... Keith, you were born in Memphis? Memphis, Tennessee. Tennessee. He's a good old Southern boy. Southern yes. boy. I'm a Southern girl, in case you haven't noticed that by now. And Mary Hudson was born and raised Santa Barbara. in Santa California. Barbara. He She's a California for, girl. Santa Barbara is for the newlywed and the nearly dead. <laughs> <laughs> it's improved a little bit since then. And so the two of you actually met. I'm going to zip forward because this is a half-hour show. There's a lot of history here. But you two met in Las Vegas, correct? Las Vegas, Nevada, a little uh, church, uh, Echoes of Faith in North Las Vegas. And uh, Keith was uh, part of that church. Yeah. So I you just, two met in church. Yeah. Yes. That's I how my a, mom and dad met, in yes. church. I was a radio news director in Las Vegas at KRAM, KRAM, Country and Western Station. And all my uh, reporter friends used to go to this little church in North Las Vegas and said, you've got to come. There's this girl preaching. It was his sister. And she used to be an ex-showgirl from Tropicana, from Polly's Berger. And 
he had gotten her saved, and she, uh, after five years, become the uh, associate pastor of that church. And she'd sashay back wow. and forth those long legs, and her little nine-year-old girl tried to say anything. She'd just be quiet, Jennifer. <laughs> <laughs> I'm speaking right. Yeah, that's right. So you two met in church, okay? And now you've been married 30 35 years. 35, 35 years. 35 years. Yeah. And I know you both have your own ministries. But and mainly we minister together. We but minister most of the time you minister together. Yes. And they also have a marriage conference, which we can talk about. You hold marriage conferences yes, as well? Yes, we do that. We do Arise Women's Conferences four or five times a year. I'll be doing one in Ventura and Kona and Maui and Samoa And so does Samoa Keith go with you year. to the women's conferences yes, as well? Yes, a lot of times. Yes, he does. Oh, so yes. you're like Joyce Meyer. She takes her David with her for her meetings. That's and right. But I speak more than David does. And you do. Yes. <laughs> yes, he does. Yeah, he's a very <laughs> silent person. <laughs> yes, and so now, so you speak, and then Keith yeah. speaks. The oh, both yes. of you preach together yeah. as a team. Yes. I love that. And then we do, we minister in the prophetic. Yes. Well, I heard that lives are being changed. From yes. what I've never heard you speak together, um, but from what I've seen and the little studying I've done on you, a whole lot of studying, <laughs> that you two are changing lives and shaking things up. And well, I know Keith's ministry is regarding... You want to explain your your what well, you focus on is well, more focused. on the inside. What you people see on the inside, right? Yeah, I, I think our our ministry, our what we're focused on, especially this generation. God's really put a, um, a heart for this generation to to uh, let them come in and know the real Jesus, not the church Jesus or the religious Jesus, but right. the real Jesus. And and uh, we've got a platform, you know, uh, because of our daughter. Not that we use our daughter, but it's given us a platform that that we can speak into the hearts and the lives of this generation and and we've got their ear and and uh just sharing what a great love and a, a great mercy that that god has for us and and how it's good to serve god and you can be yourself and you know uh really have a wonderful relationship not a religion and so we See, travel all over the world you know we minister sometimes eight to ten countries a year we've probably been in every city or every state almost uh, ministering over the years. together. Yeah. You wrote a great book called Looking and Seeing. Yeah, I've got a book called Looking and Seeing, and it's about uh, this generation. Uh, I'd like to show this book while yeah. he's talking about this book. This is Keith's book, and they can. Where can they find your books? Are uh, you um, KeithHudson.org? Yeah, KeithHudson.org. Mm -hmm. Keith? This actually is is a, a revelation that God said Looking that. Looking um, and seeing said that we start looking uh, at this generation with our heart and not with our yes. eyes. That uh, uh, and it showed me how we can be effective uh, to this generation and, uh, you know, let them know that, you know, how good it is to serve God. And I love that. I love that you are stepping outside the box, which is what one of your favorite phrases right. happens to be. Exactly. The bold, courageous women. Right. Uh, who, to be who they're born to be, exactly. outside of the box, trailblazers, right. all of these. Um, and so Mary has also written a couple of books. And Keith, your other book, the name of your other book was called Cry. Yeah, The Cry. The Cry. Uh -huh. The Desperate Prayer That Opens the Heart of God. The Cry. Yeah. So I want you to go on to his website, keithhudson.org, uh, O-R-G, and go on to uh, and look up The Cry and look up looking and seeing and then I want to while we're right there uh, Mary has written if I may just jump to this oh, real yeah, quick please. I didn't mean to interrupt your story right. but I want to since we were talking about books can we get a close-up of this Sir Hawk? Yeah. smart bombs I like that tearing down strongholds uh, with the explosive Word of God and letting people realize how a Word of God from the Bible can explode strongholds that you've held so for so long in your life you can be going along reading the Bible and all of a sudden, bam, it comes out to you like a neon sign in Las Vegas. This is a word for Lee. So those this are the is smart talking bombs to you. that That's you're a smart bomb. people. Bam. I love that. That's something that. you hold on to. You meditate, you mutter, you speak it out, and you, you take it as a stronghold. One smart bomb in Iraq would take out what a hundred dumb bombs would do. Ooh. <laughs> mm, I got the Holy Spirit on that one. I don't want to seem fanatical, but I just felt the Holy Spirit hit me with that smart bomb. And I want to also talk about, this is Mary's latest book. Yeah, this is Joyful Parent, Happy Home. And, Thank uh, you. Our pastor, Jensen Franklin, wrote the foreword on that. Very honored Joyful to Joyful Parent 
equals a happy, happy home. home. I mean, you could be a sorrowful, depressed parent, but you're going to drive those kids away. I had a situation in my family where uh, uh, one of my kids, you know, uh, what a surprise. The kids will do something that will totally shock you and take <laughs> you, you know, like a, a fly ball out of left field. And you'll think, where did that come from? Yep. And this had happened to me one day and it was a fly ball and I never expected it, but it hit me right in the solar plexus and knocked the wind out of me. So for about 90 days, I was really in shock, but God gave me a scripture. I opened up the Bible, and there it was, Psalms 13, 8, and says, a barren woman shall be a joyful mother of spiritual children. I'm going, what? Mm. What are you talking about, God? You mean I'm supposed to be happy in the midst of this? <laughs> and he said, yes, if you want to rise above anything, you're going to have to praise the Lord. Amen. And that's something that, that's right. Like Put your happy, happy pants right? on. Put your happy pants on. You can't think... If you can't do anything else when you're depressed, go watch Happy Feet. But that. get yourself it, it, praising God. Get yourself raising above the situation, not looking at these things that you look at in the natural or only temporal. God is eternal. His word is eternal. Everything he's saying to you is forever. But what is happening to you on a temporal basis, it's just like, you know, we're going into fall now. We're going to go into winter. We'll go into spring. All these things are changing. Every day is changing in your right. life. But God never changes. His word's the same Ooh, yesterday, amen. today, and forever, sister. That's you right. You can stand on that word when it's personal to you. Yes. And when it sticks out and it jumps out at you, you know it's for Lee Benton. That's right. That's a smart bomb. That's a bomb that's going to explode those Every strong time a bolt hits me from now on, I'm going to think of you. That's a very smart bomb. <laughs> that's Lee smart you bomb. You know what? I'm going to take a break. Don't go away. We're going to come right back. We're going to take a moment's break. And when we come back from listening our, to our wonderful Victory Road Band, we're going to let Mary and Keith speak some more. We're going to show you some photographs and some clips, some beautiful clips. And um, we're going to let Mary tell you how you can pray and how you can help get your family back on track Amen. on your victory road. And our precious Keith is going to say the same. It's going to really, really bless your heart. So stay right there. Let's hear it from our beautiful Victory Road Band. face with God. 
and all of the glory God. I love that song. Amen. I would like to just, uh, Mina, our beautiful director, would you please just roll a, a short video clip to show our viewing audience of the Hudsons and what they do and who they are. said, I'm going to send my hand back into the church and I'm going to deliver man out of the hands of men. You might have a son or a daughter. You might have a situation that has been bound up in the hands of man. But he said, I'm going to deliver from men and put it back into the hand of the Lord. And when you walk out these doors tonight, everything that you have, every person that you're connected to, your family, your money, your business, your ministry is going to be put in the hand of the Lord. Somebody shout a little bit. Come on. Uh, if you notice the, the black man who's standing up singing. That was um, Stevie Wonder. That was Stevie Wonder. We were at a church and we were ministering and um, uh, he came in. It was three services and we we owned the third service. Well, nobody knew he was going to come in. He walks in with his entourage. He goes to the pastor. He says, can I come and sing before Keith uh, ministers? And of course, really? you know, what do you say to Stevie Wonder? Well, no, I don't know. I'll pray about it. Now. <laughs> oh, yeah, you'll think about I'll it. I'll think about it. I'll pray about it. And so he got up and sang. Uh, and, you know, he really loves Jesus. Uh, his mother is, I heard is he totally. Was a Christian. Uh, she was. Uh, yeah, was. Uh, totally uh, sold out to the Lord. And he promised his mother bef uh, at, bef before she died that he would. Um, uh, do a, a spiritual uh, gospel, gospel album, album. Uh, and uh, he asked us if you think Katie would sing a song on it. I said, well, you just got to ask her, you know. <laughs> so I think he's going to come out with a gospel album here real soon. Wow. And yeah. speaking of which, I read where Katie actually did a gospel album that you took her to Nashville, Tennessee. Yes, and when she, she was did, Katie Hudson, yes. When she was Katie Hudson. Yes, she's still Katie Hudson. She's Katie always going to be Katie That's Hudson right, to right, her yeah, mommy yeah. and daddy, but she's Katy Perry to the rest of the world. Right, right. And she did a gospel album. Yes, we went Thank 18 you. weeks and went to Nashville, and it's uh, you can still get it actually on YouTube, or you can How get How old songs. was she when she did that gospel album? She was 14. Album. 14. Uh -huh. She started singing in our church at the age of nine. She was uh, singing the offerings. Yeah, we needed somebody to sing the offering, so I said, Katie, come on, you're it. So she used to sing Crystal Lewis's songs. Oh, Remember Crystal Lewis? Yes. And, yeah, Calvary Chapel. So Daddy would preach? Yeah. 
Daddy now, were you preach. preaching also at the time, yeah. or was it just Keith? Well, no, both Keith of you? preaches, but I, I do women's meetings and I do minister, okay. yeah. Uh -huh. right. But we minister together in the prophetic. All right. Yes, and we, all, always, we always noticed when Katie would sing, our offerings would be much better. Yeah. Well, <laughs> have her come so sing for us at CBS. Here. We need big <laughs> offerings, right? <laughs> Yeah, everybody loves Katy Perry, right? Everyone loves her. The audience, yes, everybody loves Katy Perry. And, um, and your other two yes. are precious. Yes, Angela absolutely. and David. Yes. And um, you know what? Well, we might as well just go ahead and show some, some clips. You want to show the, not clips, uh, photos, Mina. Can we just show some photos, speaking of Katy Perry, and then we will get back to the story of how they want to unite the families together. Photos, Mina, please. Thank you. That's a great picture. Thank you. We did that for the Divine Conference at Free Chapel. That's beautiful, Yeah, Mary. they're having another <clears throat> one coming up in October. And um, I do my conferences in Ventura in January and, of course, in May in, in Kona, Hawaii. It'll be my eighth one with Pastor Kuna Sepulveda at the uh, Kona uh, Convention Center. Wow. Mm. Okay. How Next. Many, how many uh, women's meetings do you do? Oh, that's, I don't know oh, what that is. Oh, I love like this picture. Brother. Do you know, I told Keith that I almost cry every time I take a look at him because he looks like he could be my daddy's son. I never had a brother. It was just my sister and I. But he looks so much like my papa that's huh. in heaven. It would blow your mind. I've wow. got to show you pictures. He looks like he could be your dad. Some people say I look like Elvis, but I won't. Well, that there. too, <laughs> of course. Right away, this is I thought what Elvis, Elvis. Would look like you know after a few years. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. We can just go ahead, and that's oh, the book, book, the book cover. Oh, you got that? Okay. Yeah. The next book he's doing is called. And this conference, where was this? Uh, this is at our marriage conference that we do, and uh, we'll be doing another one in Las Vegas in 2016, October. Well, and that'll be Jensen. on our, Pastor Jensen will be doing that with us too, and that'll be at keithhudson.org. Okay. Yeah. And you can, oh, I love this shot. I really love this. Now, isn't this on the back of your book cover? Yes. Uh huh. No, it's not. No, that's, my, uh, that's not my book. I, I think it was the other one. Yeah. It's a great shot. I love that picture. Okay, thank you. We can see the next one. Uh, that's and my mother. A that's your mommy? I was my wondering if it was yours or Mary's. Five years old. <gasps> Still Bless living. Her. Um, that's my son on the right hand side. Of course, there's Katie and then my, my other daughter, our daughter, Angela, Angela and her husband. Sven. And, so uh, they are the ones who just had the baby? Yes, yeah. and Sven is Danish, and so the baby uh, is trying to figure out what language she's going to speak first <laughs> Danish or uh, English. Cute. Yeah. That's a great family shot. Now, this was for one of Katie's uh, premieres? Yes, she took over. Well, actually, she took over the um, for her first uh, video that she did. She took over uh, the Chinese Grauman Theater, and she had a red carpet uh, all along ho uh, the Hollywood Boulevard there. I and bet. she did a sort of small mini mm. comp concert. And your mother probably just loved every loved minute, it. didn't she? She loved it. She's beautiful. Yeah. There's no way she looks 95. Oh my well, goodness. I think she was probably 90 there. Wow. Yeah. She doesn't look 90 either. <laughs> Holy Give or cow. take a few years, yeah. right? We need to learn her secrets. What right. is she doing for her face and her, oh, she's gorgeous. Uh, probably not much. <laughs> and then the last, I think we have one last shot of the beautiful Katy Perry. So you can, you can see her in January and Keith also will be there with her. Um, January 28th through the 30th. This is all her schedule in 2016. She'll be in Ventura, Oxnard, and in May 12th through the 14th in Kona, May 19th through the 21st in Maui, July. She's going to be in Haiti, or they will be in July. Again, they will be in Samoa. And uh, in October, this is all in 2016, Las Vegas, you two will be leading a marriage yeah. conference, yes. which is going to be awesome in October, so don't miss it. You can find out more details by going to keithhudson.org. We're going to come to a close, and I always end my meetings or my, my TV show and give people an opportunity to pray the RSVP yes. prayer. If you oh, do not know for sure that you're going to heaven, God said the kingdom of heaven is like an event on earth. Anytime you get invited to a nice event, a banquet, here on earth, you've got an RSVP. Or your name's not written on the guest list. There's no reserved seat. It's that simple. So let's reserve a seat. If you've never RSVP'd to God and said, please put my name in your book, 
reserve me a seat. Let's do it right now. Just repeat after me. Jesus. Heavenly Father. Heavenly Thank Father. You. Can you repeat after me, band? Heavenly Father. Heavenly, Heavenly Father. Father. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. I come to you a sinner. I come to you a sinner. I ask you to forgive me of my sins. I ask you to forgive me of my sins. As I forgive. As I forgive. All those. All those. Who sin against me. Who sin against me. I believe. I believe. That Jesus is the Christ. That Jesus is the Christ. The Son of the living God. The Son of the living God. Who died for me. Who died for and me. And arose for me. And rose for me. So that I can spend eternity with you. So I can spend eternity with you. Please put my name in your book. Please put my name in your book. And reserve me a seat. And reserve me a seat. As I follow you all the days of my life. As I follow you all the days of my life. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank you for honoring us. Pray for Keith and Mary Hudson. Stay in touch with them. Go to their conferences. God bless you on your road to victory. Amen. Everybody has a story to tell How you got to heaven when you came from hell Now I'm an overcomer Rising like the song Breaking the chains that had me bound Hearing that voice, believing that sound Victory Road Where these stories will be told Victory Road Won't you come with me to Victory to read on Victory Road Where these miracles unfold Victory Road Won't you go with me to Victory Down Victory Road Victory, Victory Road Victory 